Hey guys, so I've been trying out the Skyview 2 lamps for about a month now. And in this video, I'm going to be going over the spectral data from these lamps as usual, as well as just my opinions on them and whether or not they're worth buying. The Skyview 2 lamps were developed by, I believe a couple ex NASA engineers trying to solve the malillumination problem that human beings have nowadays. We all live indoors and we're disconnected from the natural day night cycle. And these lamps sort of mimic the colors of the sky rather than just super bright light that you would get with a traditional sad lamp. Now, these do come in two different models right now. There's just kind of like the base model, which I think is like 350, and then the pro model is like six or $700. They're expensive lamps. This basically equates to like a nightstand and desk version. The pro model is really good for the desk because it has that long neck, which puts it kind of right level with your eyes. And then the, you know, the smaller base model is just great as a, you know, table side. They often have deals for if you buy both of them. So if that kind of like combo sounds good to you, that's worth looking into. There is a small knob on each lamp. That's basically all the physical control you get. It's all you really need once it's set up. It just turns the lamp on and off, which you might use in the evening if you wanna shut it off for bed, or if you're leaving the house or something, you just wanna shut the light off. And you can also turn it to make it brighter or dim it. The Pro model is just a premium version of the base model. It weighs nine pounds versus two and a half pounds. The base is just like a really, really heavy metal. It's made out of glass instead of plastic for the globe, stuff like that. The Pro model does have one special software feature that the base model doesn't have, and that is for the daytime mode, it has a dynamic cloud cover option, which sort of varies very subtly the blue and white light in the lamp, which I think is pretty cool. Again, no other lamp does stuff like this. This is kind of like a first on the market circadian wellness lamp, and I think that feature, it's a cool idea. You can't really notice it, but it is there. I did film it just to make sure that something was happening. So I think it's just sort of like uh, subliminally comfortable, that natural variation in the colors. It's something to keep in mind if you're deciding between the two. So who are these lamps for exactly? I think anyone who's into wellness lighting, it's kind of a niche topic nowadays, but I think it's gonna get more and more popular as people understand just how important good, healthy light is for the human body. Maybe you've tried a traditional sad lamp and you found them like too bright and uncomfortable. These seek to sort of solve that problem. They're definitely a lot dimmer than a traditional sad lamp. They might not be quite as effective, but you're gonna have it on all day long. So I think that that offsets the dimmer output. So these lamps basically mimic the colors of the sky. So they start with a sunrise, which is sort of a blue sky glow, followed by a red glow from the bottom. That's actually how the sunrise starts. Before the sun rises, it lights up the sky. And so what you get is this kind of like blue color before that warm sun rises up. So they've actually done that. And then they transition into a daytime color, which is blue at the top and white on the bottom. And this lasts basically all day long until nighttime where you get a sunset, which is essentially just the opposite of the sunrise setting. And then it transitions into an evening and then a night, and then it shuts off if you want it to shut off. And these are all sort of customizable and we'll go through that later on in the video. But that said, I just wanna say that these are beautiful lamps. Everyone who's come by is just like, what is that? They catch your eye. These look a lot different in real life than they do on camera. They are really pretty lights. I just wanna stress that. So we did do testing, of course, with our spectrometer for both of these lamps on the day mode and all the other modes, but specifically the day mode, we wanted to check it at one, two, and three feet. BIOS, the manufacturers for this, recommend using this lamp at three feet. I don't know who has a table where they can have a lamp three feet away from them. Most office desks I've seen are not that big. I think I would recommend using it closer to like one or two feet. I use it about a foot away. I think you are gonna wanna use it closer. It's up to you. The spectrum emitted from both of these lamps was actually a bit different. The base model was about 6,600 Kelvin, pretty blue heavy. And then the pro model was actually 7,700 Kelvin with a bit more shorter frequency light. They both emit about the same amount of light. 
on their website, they claim 200 lumens more output for the Pro model. But if we look at the graph for Lux, we'll see that they track essentially the same. There's almost no difference at one feet, two foot, and three foot. Both lamps emit around 800 Lux at one foot, which is pretty okay. It's very blue heavy, so if we look at the circadian graph, we'll see that they emit quite a bit more circadian light. We can think of circadian light as a metric like Lux, but whereas Lux is measuring the brightness, circadian light is measuring how effective the particular spectrum is at activating the melanopic system and how well it's gonna wake you up. So these lamps do a pretty good job of that versus some other warmer lamps that might have higher Lux, because these have a lot of blue light in them. So I'm not concerned that these are too dim. These are certainly going to be an effective, sad choice, I think, for most people. To set up these lamps, you just plug them in and they start to blink red. That means they're ready for pairing. Uh, it's really easy to connect to the app. All you gotta do is hit the plus and then they just show up. Once you connect your lamps, you'll be greeted with the welcome to Skyview screen. You just hit get started, scroll through these, and then here, if you just hit great, let's go, it's just going to mimic the sunrise sunset schedule in real time where you live. So if you just wanna like set it up like that, you can just hit great, let's go, boom, there's your schedule. And this will change daily. If however you wanna customize it, just hit customize. So I like to wake up at about 6 a.m. and go to bed at 10 p.m. That I think is good enough for most people you can just hit great, let's go again. It's going to automatically change the schedule. Uh, you'll see that the sunrise kicks on at 5.45. So it starts by default 15 minutes before you wake up and lasts for a half an hour. You'll see that daytime turns on at 6.15, 15 minutes after your bedtime, runs all the way to 7 p.m., three hours before your bedtime. Then sunset runs for 30 minutes. And then the evening mode turns on until 9.30, and then 9.30, you got night mode. If you want to get even more detailed than that, you hit detailed setup. And then on here, you can change the sunrise and sunset settings. By default, 15 minutes. You can choose some days to do the synced sunrise, or you can do a custom time. And on the sunset, you can do the same thing. This is essentially like as detailed as you could ever want to get with something like this, I think. They didn't really leave any room for want here. So if you have a different schedule on a certain day, if you're like a firefighter, you're two on, one off, four on, two off, or someone who works kind of an odd schedule, you can kind of customize that in here. Um, if we just hit great, let's go and confirm. So once you have the schedule set up, you'll be met with the home screen. It just kind of shows you what time of day you're in and what mode the lamp is in currently and just gives you an overview of the whole day, which is kind of cool. So sunrise and sunset settings can be changed under settings and edit schedule. So if we want to change the sunrise, we can click on that. You can change when it starts as well as the duration. And you just make sure to hit confirm at the top when you're done. And that's pretty much it. On the bottom, you can select natural sunrise if you wanna do that. And then for sunset, you can do basically the exact same thing, except it also has a setting for full sunset and half sunset. The difference here is that full sunset just gives you one second of darkness before the evening mode turns on. So there's not really a huge difference between the two. It defaults to full sunset, it's up to you. You can try both. After the sunrise, it enters daytime mode, which is pretty much the bread and butter of this lamp. Now you can change the settings for the daytime mode by editing the light and then hitting daytime. So here you can change the brightness as well as the amount of blue light that's in the lamp. I mean, I would recommend just keeping all of the blue light. I think it looks better that way and it's also gonna be more effective since that short wavelength light is what we want to get in our eyes primarily. Like I said before, with the Skyview 2 Pro, you get the cloud variation. So you'll see in the daytime settings, there's a little button for dynamic cloud cover. So if you want that like subtle variation change, you'll wanna enable and confirm that. Now, by default, starting roughly three hours before your bedtime, the evening mode turns on. Now, the evening mode allows you to change anywhere from red 
to like a white color. Now, I prefer to have mine all the way over to the left just before it turns red. I like to have it at about 60% brightness. And this gives you like a really warm, like 2200 Kelvin white light. If you dim this, it actually turns it red. Uh, really cool feature. Sometimes I'm heading to bed at around nine o'clock and that little bit of blue light in the evening mode starts to annoy me. So if I go over and I dim it just a little bit, it turns it red before the night mode would normally turn on and make it red automatically. And so I just, yeah, I really like that feature. It's, it's really nice. So after the evening mode, the night mode comes on. Night mode, you can change it anywhere from red to like a warm amber light. I would definitely use red for this and I use around 30% brightness. And that kind of does it with the circadian schedule. There is one more feature that this lamp has and that is the adjust modes. So there are four settings that you can basically override the schedule with. There's sleeping mode, which is just red light just a dim red light. There's reading mode, which is just a 3000 Kelvin white light. There's the relaxing mode, which is a 2200 Kelvin really warm white. It's kind of like the evening mode that I prefer. And then there's a working mode, which is just daytime at 100% brightness. Pretty simple stuff, but it's nice that you can override the lamp really quickly here. You can select from 30 minutes, one hour 90 to custom. And then once that time is up, it will just default back to whatever mode it should be in based on the way you've set up your schedule. So yeah, that's the lamps and that's the app. What I really loved about these lamps is that they're not just a sad lamp, they're like a lifestyle lamp. For example, the one I have on my desk, as evening rolls around, let's say 7 p.m., 7.30 after the sun set, it goes into its evening mode and it changes the lighting in the house. And it sort of sets the tone for like, it's time to wind down. You have something that's anchored to a specific time changing color like that, it sort of changes your mood. I'm kind of a workaholic. I like to work a little bit later than I should be if there isn't something to sort of like remind me what time it is. Sometimes I get carried away. Maybe that's something that rings true for you. I like that at 9.30, for example, it turns red. If I'm doing anything still at 9.30 and this lamp goes red, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I should. It's getting close to bedtime. I should probably stop doing anything that requires my brain. I think that about covers everything. These are pretty expensive, but really functional, beautiful lamps. The app works really well. I was pretty surprised by that, honestly. I feel like most sort of startup products with an app they tend to suck. So yeah, if, if you've tried sad lamps before and you found them too bright, obnoxious, and just uncomfortable, these I think are a sort of a, a different kind of choice. They're still gonna work because it's gonna be on all day right next to you. I think it makes up for the fact that they're not glaringly bright. So yeah, I think it's worth a shot. They have a free 60 day trial to try them out. We live in a world where you can order stuff and return it if you don't like it. If you're mulling it over, you can do that. That about does it. We have affiliate links down below. If you guys want to check these out, feel free to click on those first. I would very much appreciate that. If you like this, please like the video. And we have an article for this as well below if you wanna see like more graphs and colorful stuff. It's in there for sure. All right, see you guys next time.